Hello, my name is Aaron Gonzalez. I am a Microsoft SharePoint MVP and a consultant from Hershey Technologies. Today, I want to talk to you about how can we document our SharePoint farm, okay, and share those documents with others. So um, there is a solution from a company called Aceleretio that allow us to document a SharePoint farm. This is an application that you will run in an application server and it will query all the settings of your SharePoint farm and it will create a document. So you can have in a document all your configuration settings and basically allow you to understand what are those specific settings and an X-ray of your SharePoint farm. Of course, this tool also supports other functionality, so you can explore and use the tool settings to drill down to a specific settings, to run reports, to uh, run your configuration settings and test um, those settings with what we call best practices or Microsoft best practices. So you can see where you are related to Microsoft best practices. It also allows you to, to understand and see your logs. So it's very, very compelling tool uh, that a consultant or a particular company can have to assess and validate any SharePoint form, even SharePoint 2010, 2007, and 2013, it is supported. So today, I wanna show you how can you do that. Um, of course, you need to have a license. There are different license options. So just make sure to go and download uh, the version number 421. Um, you provide your information and you will have a trial version, right? Now, I will show you how can we run the tool. In my case, I do have a consultant license. So I will show you how can we perform what we call an offline activation. And that is because when we have a SharePoint farm, not necessarily all the servers have internet access for security purposes. So we need to have a way to activate the software without an internet connection. So there is an offline activation mode. And also uh, you will notice that the application, you can install the application in the server or you can just run it without installing the application. Of course, we are not encouraging to go to a SharePoint application server and install the third party application there. Right, but you can run the tool without not installing the application or changing the registry in the system. So let's assume that we download the application, that we provide the information, that we have this for version 4.2.1, and let's run it. So I have here in my downloads folder the SharePoint documentation toolkit, just inside of a, this particular SharePoint server. I am a SharePoint local admin. Um, so I decide to run the tool as an administrator and let's see how the experience is here. You will notice, notice that I also have a license. Uh, there are two ways to, to um, provide a license. We can provide the user email address and the password and that will connect to a particular um, doc, um, acceleration, acceleration site and validate your license or you can use a local license, a file license that allows you to work in our offline activation mode. So let me show you that. So, so I will go next. Um, of course, we will read the entire thing here. Next, and notice this particular thing. We can install the application in our computer. Of course, we have different set of functionality available in the tool if we install the application. Okay, we can create a SQL Server database to store our farm settings and to be able to um, perform other features or use other features of the application when we have this install, right? So just make sure that if you are going to install, just take the considerations that you need to take in order to install maybe in another application server that will be only dedicated to this or uh, just con look at acceleration documentation so you can see how the proper way to install this kind, this kind of application. But for now, let's run it. Just We will just hit run. And instead of you know installing the application modifying the registry or whatever just just run the application okay and as you can see here we can buy the product we can activate the product 
in order to use it, we need to activate it. So we, we will activate it here. And there are two modes. We can provide the two types of licenses, the farm license and the consultant. Uh, for the consultant license, we need to provide an email and our password, right? Uh, but in this case, this particular application server, it doesn't have internet access. So I need to use the offline activation mode. So just click the offline activation mode, specify that this is a consultant edition, and go and upload the license. So I, don't, I already download the license. Here it is. I will provide the license. And here this particular checkbox, one-time activation, activate, and basically I am able to use the product. All right. Okay. So now let's see what and how can we use this specific documentation toolkit for SharePoint. So we are going to load farm settings. And this uh, will query all the settings that are that we have in our current SharePoint farm. Okay, so you will notice that as part of the loading process, if there's something happening or on a specific action, uh, for example, this one that uh, the user that I um, log it in, it doesn't have permissions to see the user profile service app, you can click the hyperlink and that will take you to a specific page to uh, that will explain uh, what exactly do we need to do to fix this particular problem. Okay, all right, so let's finish and notice how the application um, is just uh, giving us a lot of information related to SharePoint. You can see the farm information, server list, the farm topology, the site topology, a lot of a lot of things, right? Um, very compelling. Um, you can also see here we have different options, the site explorer. So you can see the different site collections available in your different web applications, and and you can drill down and start looking at the features and solutions. Uh, the Permission Explorer, of course, um, this is a feature that only runs if you install the application or if you configure the database that I was telling you, the SQL Server database. We have reports, um, so it's a feature list. There's, there are a lot of set of reports here you can use. Um, the best practice also makes sense. Uh, notice here it is running a best practice analyzer. It's not the best, the Microsoft best practice analyzer, but it runs uh, those uh, best practices and validates on your environment. So you can see where you are uh, related to best practices, which uh, remember not all the best practices apply. If, if, if you have business cases that those best practices apply, that means that we need to implement the best practice, but not necessarily all the best practices are applicable to our environment. We need to identify that. Um, we can see the schedule task. So you have uh, this calendar view, uh, change history. If you are constantly running different um, SharePoint documentation analysis here, you will see the other snapshots and monitoring. So you can load your ULS uh, login files and start using this tool to review uh, logs. All right. Now, um, what is important to see here is the option to generate option. So you can generate you, the entire document related to the farm configuration settings in a PDF or a Word document. So let's generate in a PDF. Uh, let's save this file here in the downloads folder. I will say uh, my IPD environment farm. Hit OK. And what we did is just save a file that uh, that is related to this application. Now we need to generate the PDF file that will have all our documentation for this farm. So we can just uh, notice here, use this option to include 137 items. Or you can be very specific and say, don't include web applications, include uh, include just uh, specific settings, doesn't matter. Uh, I will use the 137. Click Generate, and of course, save this specific instance of the file. Save it, and that will get saved in a PDF file. So here we have the file, the PDF file. Let me open so you can see it. So this is the result. The result is a document with a lot of information related to your environment. Um, right? Um, 
then a specialist or a consultant can go in and review each setting and identify potential issues. Uh, now, there's another report we can generate. Is that the best practice report? So you go to the best practice uh, section and head and head the best practice documentation. Uh, we will save it as so it will be EPD IPD form BPA, and that will generate an entire document with best practice information. Um, something that I feel compelling here is like it will tell you the specific issue or the specific best practice that we're missing, but also will, will be, it will have a hyperlink so you can see and go to other website and review the details of each specific best practice and why we need to apply it. So that's that's interesting. Check this out. So this is like a dashboard report of all my settings. Um, if you go here, for example, there's the learn more hyperlink. So you click that. It will take you to the technical article related to this particular configuration setting or best practice. So you can learn about why it's important to use this kind of practices in, in, in a SharePoint farm, all right? So to me, this is a very compelling solution, very nice application that we can use to understand better our customer's environment or um, our SharePoint farms and identify potential issues or make suggestions or but it's it's a it's a good tool to have in our tool set okay all right um thank you so much and see you later